Hi, this is Leslie. In this episode, we'll be talking about cockatiel genetics. And you're probably wondering, why am I in my garden talking about cockatiel genetics? We're not talking about cockatiel food or uh, diets for your birds. But actually, if you can sit with me and um, understand that uh, we need to go over the history a little bit of genetics, and it really will help in your understanding. I often have people ask me, um, you know, just give me the short version of genetics. And there really is a short version, and you will really, it will start to click if you really just concentrate on um, the very basics of genetics um, and how inheritance happens. And we're in our garden because um, one of the first and most well-known people who, uh, scientists who did genetics was Gregor Mendel. Gregor Mendel started with this little pea plant and decided that he would start looking at peas and looking at their flowers and starting to see really how genetics works. Before that time, which is, you know, middle of the 1800s, um, before that, a lot of people believed that uh, two individuals would have a baby and that they would blend their traits together. So if you had a tall person and a short person, their baby would be a medium size. And uh, Mendel decided that he would look into this because there was a lot of times when that just wasn't the case. And um, he did extensive research on what later has become um, a field of study called Mendelian genetics. And um, he put all kinds of pea pods together and looked at their cover colors and looked at um, forming opinions about dominance and uh, recessive behaviors. And we will go through those genetics, which are basically in cockatiels, we'll have uh, white faces, fallows, um, pods, all which follow Mendelian genetics. When we start going into sex-linked and dominant, uh, we kind of get into another line of genetics that is not so simple, and we'll discuss that in a separate uh, video. So let's go to a less hot place and discuss um, Mendelian recessive and dominant traits.